Over here, you can see that I have uh, this blog uh, right here. And in this blog, uh, the content are displayed in a certain way. And if you want to go ahead and change that out, then what you can do is you can utilize the advanced theme customization settings. So to do that, I'm going to go around onto the dashboard and then I'm going to go around onto the theme section. And over here, you can see customize is an option. If you were to go ahead and click right here, then it opens up the theme customization options over here on the left hand side. And here you can see advanced is an option which allows you to select out different sections and then change it how you like. For example, you can go around and change out the body right here, as you can see, and change out the body color. You can also go around and click on add and choose a color that you like right here, just like this and adjust it out. Similarly, you can go around and change out the font that you use. You can go around and uh, let's say, for example, make the color transparent as well and so forth. Like visited link color, you can go around and change the color uh, for that as well uh, as you like. For example, you have a link hover uh, right here. You can go around and change the color for that as well. And similarly, you can go around and change the blog titles as well to Arial or let's say, for example, to Cambria and it changes out accordingly. And you can see how that looks right here as long as these components are here. So let me just go around and say 300px and this is what you have as you can see. But let me just go around say 60px and this is what you have. So not every time it uh, produces a wonderful result, but you can see that there's minor level of details that you can actually work with right here. You can italicize it, you can bold it and so forth from over here. You can also go around and change out the overall theme color from over here as well and add it out. You can clear the advanced changes so it gets back to default as well. Similarly, you can go around onto, let's say, featured post as well, and then it highlights it, and you can go around, change out the settings for the featured post as well. Similarly, you can go around, make, let's say, for example, the title transparent right here, just like this, if you want to, or you can go around, make, uh, let's say, change out the theme color, and as long as they are there, you'll be able to see the change right here, just like this. So this is what you have. And after the featured post, there's header that you can work with, as you can see, and you can change around the header from over here and the top header changes out and you can change around the description as well. And the description color right here are transparent. So you do need to work around and experiment around to see what uh, is there. The search function right here is 16 PX. So you can go around and change up, let's say, for example, a uh, pixel size right here for, uh, you know, for the, uh, text and so forth. For this particular uh, case, it's not changing, but depending on theme, this will change as well. Like in feed, you can see the feed right here. You can change out the color for the feed, change around the subtitle color and change around uh, the settings right here. You can make it transparent to hide them out as well and adjust out the blog according to how you like right here. So there's feed, there's sharing, there's dialogue, there's a sidebar, with so you can go around and change out everything as you can see right here change out the width right here you can go around change out this sidebar right here just like this and change around uh, every settings as you like right here and even work around with individual post or piece right here change around every settings as you like and get the look as you want what you can also do is you can add in custom CSS as you can see right here, but this is not what we are going to focus on this particular video. So this is how you can go around and use the advanced theme customization settings inside of Blogger. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.